Do you know that Lego is perfect for building puzzles? Let me show you 16 ways to do it so you can show off on parties. Let's go! The first one is called 6T. Your goal is to fit all 6 T-shapes into the box. But after putting 4 T-shapes inside, you'll see there will be no enough room for oh, the other no. two. So how am I supposed to do it? The correct way is to put one T-shape inside and then slide the second one all the way to the left and the third one to the right. Then you'll have enough room to slide three T-shapes one by one into the box. The second one is to fit four trapezoids into the frame. First, we can try to put the rectangular sides against the wall to save some room, but clearly it doesn't work. If we change an angle, still no go. This reoccurs whatever angle we try to switch. Uh-uh, still not okay. The right way to solve it, however, is to put the diagonal sides against the wall even if you waste two triangular spaces. Then we can get enough room for the two extra trapezoids. This puzzle is called 6 cubes. The goal is to put 6 cubes inside the box. It seems quite simple at first, but when you try to put them in, you will find out that after putting 5 cubes inside the box, the last one is impossible to put in, because it doesn't have enough room for it. The cubes inside block its way. The right way to do it is to put the first two of them horizontally and the third and fourth ones vertically. Move the first one to the upper right and this one to the top and then push this one to the left. You will have enough room for the last two cubes. It's always fun solving puzzles, yes? If so, solve yes by making it into a symmetric shape. But it's quite difficult because you need to consider the orientation of these three characters. Y and E are symmetric, but S is not. The correct way is to put S here and E here and Y to the bottom right. The next one is a 4F puzzle. A friend showed me this puzzle and asked me not to say any F word solving this puzzle. It's not easy to solve because the three Fs already occupied most of the frame and there is only scattered space for the extra one. So the right way to solve it is to rearrange the position of the three Fs so I can make some extra room for the last one. It's pretty tight, but it works. Now you have four strange pieces. The goal is to make a T-shape with these pieces. At first, if you try to line up the cuts, you'll get only a rectangle. Rearrange them, you'll still get some shapes that are barely similar to T. So the correct way to solve this is to line up these two pieces and make these two pieces go to the left and right. Now you have a T. The next puzzle asks you to fix these blue parts inside this tray, so no blue parts can move. It's difficult because it's a big tray and these parts are small. There will always be some space for parts to move around. Okay, let's solve this puzzle. First, put these two pieces at the center of the tray and fill this piece into the gap. Then put the rest two pieces to the left and right, so all pieces are fixed firmly inside the frame. This puzzle is a square made of four pieces, but what if I ask you to make a bigger square with one more little square? It is not easy because five pieces are in really strange shapes and you can barely form a 90 degree out of them. But after you try multiple times, we will finally find out this is possible to make a bigger square. The next puzzle is also a symmetric puzzle. You need to solve this puzzle by making three pieces into a symmetric shape. It is not that hard because you will find a triangular shape is the solution. But what about this puzzle? You also need to make it a symmetric one and it has only two pieces. But it is very hard unless you find a good angle to reveal its symmetry. Is there a kind of chocolate that you can eat it forever? Well, this is it. Cut the chocolate in half, get one little piece you want to eat and reassemble the chocolate. Then you get your portion and another complete bar of chocolate. Can you solve this puzzle with two balls? You need to put two little balls on both sides of this box. But it is very hard because they always go to the same direction. So how to solve it? If you change a way to think about it, the answer will be simple. Just spin it. Woo! 
This puzzle is called Six Nails. The object is to put all six nails on the top of this blue brick. But it is impossible to balance six nails within such a small space. But if you can do a little trick to interlock these nails, you will be able to put them onto that top. Because in this way, six nails form a balance, and all you need to do is to carefully put it on the top. This is an unconventional puzzle. You need to use these pieces to make a pyramid. However, except for the two squares, the other pieces don't make any sense. So here is the solution. Put the larger square on top and the three 90 degree pieces next to each other. Then put the smaller square on top. And here is the tricky part. You have to change the angle of view to get the pyramid. The next puzzle is not those you can see every day. It asks you to create three letters using the white bricks. And also you can't break the pink plate apart. After filling the gaps, you'll see these are not English letters at all. And there is nothing we can do about it. But if you take the diagonal points of the plate and make a tweak, you will find three letters at once. This puzzle is called the spiral. The goal is to remove the yellow handle. The first attempt is to simply follow the curve, but you will find it blocked by the square at the end of the spiral, so we have to start over. The correct way to solve this puzzle is to move the yellow handle through the little square and change the direction and put it out. This puzzle is actually a gumball machine oh. that I designed myself. When you want to get some gumballs but you have no coins, it will be such a frustration. But when you look to the side of this box, you will find a hidden box, but it cannot be opened with your hands. So simply use Legos to make a key and pull out the box. You will find a hidden coin inside of it. Put in the coin and turn the handle, then you get a delicious gumball. And by the way, I'm turning my design into an official LEGO production idea. If you like it, please go to the LEGO Ideas website and hit the support button for me. Many thanks! The last puzzle is a LEGO Paradox. You need to separate the bricks to get the brick separator. 